almost like I got a taste of boxing when I was 11 and 12, start, when I started boxing. Um, I never dreamed I'd be an Olympic silver medalist. Kenny Egan is a success and he happens to box. But he is a, a trade, a number of, of successful trades that make him first and foremost a successful individual. Like I made her a whole day, her, her two weeks. She was so proud to be the mother of, a, of an Olympic silver medalist and I was proud to have her as a mother. You know, we have great pride in the fact that we're the best nation in Olympic boxing. If anybody in any walk of life lived with the unshakable self-belief that this lad has, you know, then we'd be living, living in a very successful country, you know. Well, to be honest with you, when I got onto that bus in the airport and come home through Nilstown and back home into Clendalgan, it was like I had won the gold medal. Kids were screaming, Henny, you are robbed and you're the Olympic champion and the atmosphere was electrifying. It was amazing. I think there was 4,000 people outside my me, outside me local pub screaming and shouting. I couldn't believe it. I didn't think it was going to be that big, you know. Unbelievable. That's something I'll always I'll, I'll take to my grave. This is the boss of the house here, the house I'm living in at the minute. This is my mother, Sorry, Maura Egan, also known as Ma Egan. <laughs> to everyone in the estate and to us, she's the boss, our mother. She's the one that's kept me on a straight and narrow for 26 years. Well, let me just say the straight, I won't say the narrow, but <laughs> it's been a bit of crack in this house the last couple of years, hasn't it? Yep. Uh, yep. You keep me going. Huh? You keep me going. Ah, uh, sure. We all go on great in this house anyway. He's my 90. friend as well as myself. Of course, yeah. We all are. This tape we're about to see is Ireland v Wales, 1998. Yeah, that's myself, look. My God. You're very young there. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was about 16, I'd say. What do you say, only a pup? Only a pup. Look at little innocent face on me. <laughs> 16, I've never been kissed. Yeah. I think this was my first international. No, I wouldn't be. Ireland mad now or anything, but it's always nice to wear the green vest, as I said, because it's very rare that you get them. You wouldn't think he was a boxer looking at him, would you? You wouldn't. That's me. My God, look at the head guard and all of me, look. <laughs> yeah, he comes at me here like a madman, look. The footwork still get me out of trouble. It's one thing I'll say for you, Ken, you have a great set of feet. Oh, look at that. So I had it then, I have it now. Oh, there's a lovely straight left hand there. Switching now as well, Just look at this. Oh, oh, good lord. It's not a bad little scrapper though, is he? No, I'm the one in the green. I know that. I <laughs> never... <laughs> you get mixed up there again now. He's not a bad little scrapper, I said. Oh, I used to go around with a little moustache when I had my braces and I, I wore loads of sovereigns. Yeah. I, at about that, probably about that age, I thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. The, the old dodgy haircut. Probably still have the dodgy haircut now at the minute. I was a grey hair, that's what you talking about. Oh, you mean mine's to cut my hair with a knife and fork. <laughs> that right? What? That's Sit down there and I'll cut your hair. You'll be walking out, we all look, the whole lot was look the same walking around the place. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Prior we were called. When you're young, you just get into the ring and you throw everything. Kitchen sink, the whole lot goes at the opponent. When you get older, you have to start thinking, you know. <laughs> There's a lovely crowd of people that follow boxing. A lovely crowd of people. A genuine respect for each other. That's me there, is it? You fell over the bike, remember? Oh, that bike. couldn't have been... I wasn't that age, was I? I was, yeah. <coughs> you got the bike. I got a BMX. Yeah. And I went up a couple of steps. And there was a sudden drop off about, about that height, about three or four or four. I went over the, the handlebars and broke the wrist. The following day, he was going across. Because I left Our Lady's Hospital with you. He was getting stitches in his leg and the following day, we were with him to get his arm, arm in the arm in It's him. hard to believe now you pointed at me and says, I'm going to see you at the Olympic final in 2008. I'd laugh at you. Standing there with a broken wrist. That was when I made me first Holy Communion. John's in his little tracksuit there, right out the back garden in this house. My father, with black hair at the time. 
it's silver now. I made a few bob that that, that week, didn't I? You did, yeah. Huh? It was all taken off. Still have it. <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. <laughs> That's deep pockets and short yeah. arms. That's what it is. <laughs> it's not my fault. And it's all under that mattress there. Yeah. We'll give you a look in a few Terrorist. minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Must be very bumpy at this stage. Actually, the old, the old bed's starting to rise there. I'll be burning my arse off that night when I go to bed. <laughs> that night when I go to bed. Alright, we're going to the bed. Ain't no way, not a care in the world. Look at that. No bills. Still no bills. <laughs> not a care in the world. Not worried about anything. You still have the care in the world. No pressure on our, on our lives there. Just sitting there in the sun, eating our ice creams. I wonder when our next, our next meal will be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, I'm not stressed at the minute. I'm, I'm, I'm living the, the dream, as they say. Come home to the Olympic Games with a medal. Enjoying all the publicity and the bits and bobs that, that that's happening, the offers I'm getting. And, but I'm not going to be foolish and jump in with two feet. I'm going to listen to what everyone has to say. and We'll take it from there, you know? That's me there. You see me smiling there. That's when we had me old book teeth. They wouldn't show me teeth in the, in the in most photos. See? I was just smiling there the way until I got me old braces and that. I was very paranoid about me, me, me old Delph. <laughs> we got them sorted anyway in the end. Didn't we? We did, yeah. Yeah, didn't we? Look at the bleed that scarred me there. That's terrible, isn't it? Innocence, huh? Yeah, that's innocence in a, in a frame there now. Communion again, eight or nine. You're only seven, I told you. Seven, oh, seven, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know you in the trousers either, did you? You left them. <laughs> Sorry, hold me. Just hold, stop the house. I give a clatter here. From, give me a black eye. Oh. I had to dress you up that morning, send you down to the school. I kept telling you, keep your clothes. Nah, that's lovely, though, isn't it? My old teeth are starting to show there. Look, zoom in on that there. I think it's a lovely photo. Ah, it's marvellous. Beautiful child yeah. you wear. I had to be different, didn't I? Huh? I always said if I was going to a Debs, I'd, I'd get a kilt. Went into town to get that. That's what I see this here. Justin Callan, that's the little moustache I used to have. Like, picture that little Ronnie and braces. Lovely chap all together. I said there's no problem with the women, though, I have to say. Well, my father never boxed too, just he loved watching it on TV and that. He's very witty, my father. He doesn't say much, but when he says something, He's slagging it or he's, he's having the crack. I think that's where we got from. Your ma's just, she's from the country, you know what I mean? Good country girl. But... That's how well we get on. <laughs> we're talking about all sorts. But I know loads of families and they all have their own friends. We all have our own mates, but when we get together, it's, it's, the slagging is mighty, you know? Even when he's walking, he comes home at half two in the, in the, in the afternoon. He'd have a four hour break. He come in, he cooked the dinner, and then he'd head off again. It's just, it's just in him. Just to, I, mean, I, I can't cook. I'll be, I can make a great scrambled egg and, and, and toast. That's, that's as good as I get. But uh, he's he just, it's natural. He, he's four or five pots on at the same time, and he knows, he knows everything. You know about boiling stuff and cooking stuff and everything else. Everything just ready then at one time. Bump onto the plate. There he is, our lads. I'm going back to work, and happy goes. I started winning Irish titles, and when I start, I won my first senior title back in 2001. I was the best in the country, and then I wanted to, I wanted to build on that. Then I became Four Nations champ, which was the best in Ireland, England, Scotland, and Wales. Then the Europeans, then and it was like a little stepping stone, a little ladder that I was climbing. And on top of the ladder is an Olympic gold medal. And the whole idea for me, amateur boxing, is to try and reach your peak, and that is the Olympics. It's great to be to be called an Olympian. But then to go on and be an Olympic medalist is even better again. And then to reach an Olympic final, there's nothing better than that, only obviously winning it. But um, I'm proud of what I've done to date in the amateur boxing career. I'm probably one of the best, if not the best, amateur boxer to come out of Ireland. Uh, apart, from, apart from Mick Crew, who went on to win the gold, but I'm up there amongst the best of them. When you go home, he's forced to trophy. I still have it in there. This small little plastic thing was cost about. 50 pence, I suppose. <laughs> but he was so delighted with himself that he had won something, you know? As his first ever, as his first ever won. That was the start of it. I, I actually remember the fight, it was in Darndale. 
That's a very uh, poor sort. I, I don't know what age I was, I was probably 10 or something. I'll never forget it, Ari. But that took pride in place in the house because we thought it was probably very forced one. Gaffer. It was the eldest brother, Willie. He got into it in Nailstown. He was boxing, and I was only a pup. And I remember him coming in every every couple of a week, every week or something. He'd pop in. He was asking me, "Man, for for subs," and I didn't know what subs meant. I was saying, "What's what subs?" And this was in my head for months and months and months. And then I was about eight or nine at the time. He said, "Come on, I bring you out to the club." Now I didn't know what to expect. I walked into into the same school hall, and there was loads of animals and elephants and all sorts all painted on the walls. It's a primary or a, a little primary school. And I was saying, "Box? This couldn't be a boxing club." And there was naked room, nothing in it. Then they started taking out the bags and hanging up all the bits, and then it turned into a little club, you know. Started off with a little bit of bag work and whatnot, and started training. That's how we got me into it then, that's how we started off. And then I found out what the subs was, you paid every week for your, for your fees for, for the gym, or for the club. But he's the, one that, he's the one that got me into it. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, yeah. So you can't the you want to something like this. The fact that we have to take it up and put it down all the time. It's a, it's a bit of a pain, isn't it? 30 years. This is this is 30 years this ring, is it? Sorry? This ring we have, it's in operation. 30 years. 30 years. 79, yeah. The original premises was in Nailstown Park in a place called the Old Mansion House. We were about six months in the Old Mansion House and it caught fire. So the principal of the school here, a boy called uh, Mr. Brannock, he brought us over here then from, from 79 and, and we're here since. So hopefully in the next six months, we'll be going from here then to about 200 yards across the way there. And hopefully our new club will be completed. In, in the 30 years in existence here, we're at the producing something like 50 national titles. And in the last 10 years, we've actually reached 10 senior finals. Alex was a runner-up this year. Um, Garrett Dunn was a runner-up in 2003, and Kenny has won eight. So it's not a bad record for the last 10 years working from facilities like this. As you can see, the, the, the club is thriving here. We actually have a waiting list here, as long as we are. And I think we, at the moment now we've, we've 60 members. We've had to get an extra 20 members since the Olympics in the last few weeks, you know. So it's all good, it's all positive. We're going to do about a five minute sort of warm up exercises, okay? Hot. Stretching and so on. Okay, so Kenneth's going to do it as a starting from now. Go ahead, Kenneth. How are you all doing, lads? Hi, Kenneth. all well, yeah? Yeah. Right, good stuff. Well, we're going to start out with jogging on the spot. Let's go. Get your knees up now. Nice and high. That's it. Oh, knock it out. That's it. Make the noise up! I'm <laughs> <laughs> jogging on the spot again. That's it. Put it out front. Nice long straight from there. All the way out, full extension. All the way, elbows in. Elbows in, that's it. All the way out. One step forward, one step back. That's it. Hands up, chin down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Two. Oh, good right hand there. Keep going, hands up. That's nice. And again, one, two. Oh. This is Leon. Leon's the youngest member of the club. How old are you, Leon? Six. Six years of age. Six. Hey, right, relax, relax. Have a break. Good stuff. Hands down, relax yourself. That's good. Shot. Yeah, have to pass That's nice. Right. 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 After the second round, or after the fourth round, and you're two or three down. It's very hard to pull back points. Right, you're getting in there. The fourth round is your most important. And they tell us this in the stadium with the high performance, and I'm, I'm an outfit now at this stage. You know what I mean? But I'm still learning. You have to get a fast start. Get in there, get your points. Pour them if you can, push them back, get your points. Then I'll give you a bit of, you know, a bit of leeway then when you're fighting in your second and your third round. But a good hard fourth round, good second round, and your last round, finish off on a high. Well, you have, that's what you need, you need the preparation. Once you have that, you'll have the confidence. And when you have the confidence, then you go on then and take on anyone. And give yourself a good, hard three rounds. If you don't win the fight, you don't win the fight. But as long as you give 100%, that's all you can do. Stuff. Good stuff. Right, out onto the bag there. Next, I have them in the ring here and I'm teaching them something. So it's up to them to go off onto the bag now and practice. You know, and, and so that's the whole idea is improvement all the time. Improving your game, improving your fitness. That's what I told him. Preparation is vital. There's one thing you can't do in boxing, and that's cut corners. You're in that ring and you're on your thoughts. You're in here, in here on your own, and if you're not fit, and you're not ready, straight away you're going to be found out. And simply, you're just going to get hurt. Simple as that. For the boxing game, it's a walking man's game. It's a walking man's environment. We're all here just to better ourselves. Like I was when I walked in here 18 years ago. I'm looking at it now and I can see myself as a kid like them, in here sparring and doing pads with Noel Humphrey and that. Onto, you seen the bag over there we have, the green one. That's, that's all with me, like, you know? But, uh, now it's great to be back here now for the night and, and seeing the talent in the room. If I was to become coach of any team, it'd be my way or the highway type of thing, you know? It'd be very firm and strict, because that's how I, I, I got it off the coaches I was with. Oh, good shot. Stuff, lads, stuff. Let's go, pick the jab out. Do the same way as the Bank of Badeva. Very small for it. That's nice. After this now, we'll take everything back down again. Leave the hall fair for school tomorrow morning. And then it'll be the same again then on, on Friday night or whatever, you know? We are best! There we have it. I was, I was, what old are you? Who's A here? Me. Yeah, I was his age when I turned up into this club. I was your age when I started. What? Yeah. How are you in this school, yeah? Yeah. Are you a good student? Yeah, all right. Yeah, lawyer. Sometimes. Are you? Sometimes I have to listen to boxing. Oh, no, 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 that's only for in here. Nowhere else. Right? Hey. Good stuff. But I'll be getting gold. You wish. I win. For a car. Hold on. Well, get rid of it. 2016, I'll be in gold medal. Oh, we should heavy. Fair play to him for winning it. That's why I came here, because I was being bullied. And now it's all stopped.
it's kind of control violence, which uh, kind of calms you down. It, uh, it takes away the tenseness that's in your body. You say I'm real angry and uh, someone slagging it or something, they just want to punch their head off. Them. Like I used to be like that, I used to kill people because they slagged me once. But now since I joined the boxing, I just I keep calm at it. Because joining the boxing, I'm breathing in through my nose and all. So everyone should